Hey everyone, welcome to our 11th annual Black History Month celebration here at the Benson Museum of Local History. This year we are honoring Cicero Williams for his many years of service and dedication to our community. Over the next few minutes, we're gonna hear from family and friends about the life and legacy that Cicero has left in this community. So sit back, relax, and enjoy these sweet memories. Cicero passed away in 2006. Uh, the truck needed a little bit of work done to it. The, the water tank in the back, had it was old, I mean, it was rusted out, so we had to put a new water tank in it. The paint job was getting kind of wore, so we, we wanted to put some new, new, coat, new coat of paint on it. So we done all that, and we fixed the pump up, got it back presentable, so then, and I don't remember who at the time come up with the idea, so this was probably 2008, 2009, <clears throat> come up with the idea, said let's let's put Cicero, let's let's dedicate this one to Cicero. So we, we put Cicero Williams' name on the back of it and his the dates that he served on the on the fire department. He loved the fire department, I'm telling you. <laughs> Whenever that fire whistle went off, he, he didn't care if he was in the shower, in the bed, whatever, we all had to get out the way. <laughs> he would take off running, I mean, drop everything. Remember back when I was young, we used to go to the fire department, we used to walk around, clean, clean the fire trucks, and just, he used to let me get inside it and look inside of it. And I remember one one specific fire truck. <laughs> I was small at the time. I walked past it and it used to scare me. <laughs> the front of it looked like a mean face or something. <laughs> well, I was scared of that fire truck, but he, he used to let us get up in it and see how everything worked. He might toot the horn and the horn real loud, stuff like that. But we picked, I picked on him all the time, and everybody else did too, you know, because he'd get mad. But he liked it, because he'd come right back for more, you know. So he was, uh, but he was a good fire, a good fireman. One of the better ones we've ever had. So, and I appreciate what all he did. Cicero never missed a fire call. If Cicero missed a fire call, it was somebody else's fault. He didn't hear the siren. Uh, uh, we didn't have pagers at that time or he was gone. And if he missed it, you heard about it at the next meeting that we had or the next time he saw you. He got along very, very well because he was uh, the first uh, black fireman that was in the town of Benson or on the department. And he went, went through a barrier situation there, but it never showed up in his, in his love for the fire department or in, in any love that the fireman had for him. He was, he was their own child. Whatever daddy needed, they was always there for him. They did never turn their back on him. I was told he worked, probably started working when he was around 13 and pretty much worked here till his death um, for various aspects of, uh, you know, my grandfather, Ralph, and even his brother, Ralph's brother, Roy Medlin. And Roy Medlin was at the, uh, I think, was running the tractor dealership in the early days. And then my father bought out Roy, and of course Cicero continued to stay at the tractor dealership. Cicero was always there and he was doing whatever his job was. And, but I do remember he always uh, was very fond of an adjustable wrench. <clears throat> right, if he was <clears throat> putting a piece of farm equipment together, he would, let's say it was a one inch nut and he had a wrench that 
fitted the one inch nut, he would throw it down and go get an adjustable wrench. I mean, he would, he would do that. I don't know why, but I reckon it fit his hand better. <laughs> Because, you know, he was a hard worker. He always went out. He always had a job. I don't care what kind of job it was. He was always cutting grass, always working somewhere. In other words, he made a way out of nowhere. Yes, he was a provider, very, he was a provider. He made sure we always had what we needed. And like he said, he cared about his family. Christmas time, well, <laughs> we always had something under the tree, whether it was new or whether it was old. He was a good provider, he was a good father, and he just did, he, he, he just did everything for us. He tried, he, he was, he, you know, we didn't have all, but he made it, made it for we have all. Love was that he, I know he gave us shelter, he gave us food, and he gave us love. Lots of people leave this world and sometimes the people in your own neighborhood don't know you. But this man, the whole town just about knew him. That just says a lot, you know, it says a whole lot. I feel like that the community uh, needs, needs probably more Cicero's, yeah. Very, very dedicated fireman, yeah, it really was. As far as the community, he filled a very important role for the Medley organization and for other members and people in town who needed a little help for anything, he would try to help them. Uh, if they had a tree tore down and something, he could help them get it out of the way, he was always willing to devote his time and effort to do that. If something was wrong with a truck or something, we always had problems with trucks. And something, you know, if you had a fire and you about every time something would be wrong with something. And so <clears throat> he was the one I would call because, I mean, he would come help me. If you had to do something, if you had to change a valve or something on it, he would, uh, he would help me. And there was others too, you know, there was others too, but you know, he was, he was the first one I'd call because I knew he was, was readily available. Yeah, Cicero, um, again, I got on in 96. I had a few good years with Cicero and Cicero, uh, me and him were pretty tight, um, but after Cicero retired, he retired in 2004, uh, he he would come, I, I, he had, uh, I can't remember exactly, but he had some type of cancer and he was taking treatments, but but we started building this station in 2000, early 2000, like January 2006. We started building the station and most every day, at some point in time during the day, you'd, you'd come by and you'd see his car out there and he was, he was sitting there watching them build the station, right, right on up for, you know, next few months after that. But he, he come by every day that he could and he would sit out there and, and watch the station being built. Uh, Cicero was honest, hard working, and obviously I think anybody that was around him could tell he, he had integrity and took pride in what he did. Um, and you know, was just a hard worker that would do whatever task was at hand, you know. I think if he was here, his advice to everybody would be, no matter what you put your hands to, never quit. See it through and give it the best that you've got. And not only not to quit, but always put your best foot forward. You know, don't, don't have to do anything. Because every time I saw him, he was a hustler. Whether it was his main job or side jobs, he always was finding a way to make money and take care of his family. So I believe he would just always tell everybody, don't quit. Just keep pushing forward, keep moving, and the sun is gonna shine. Just keep going. To love all people, regardless of who they are, to love all people, and to treat everybody fair and right. Work hard, working hard pays off. Showing love to everyone, smile, and never quit, and also helping others, like I was saying. And the best piece of advice he gave me was, uh, he gave, he, be dependable and we're, and be the verse the very best man that you can be from 
on the innocence of a flickering flame to the theory of a blazing inferno, we continue to turn to the beyond the call of duty to our firefighters and pray for miracles. In this unselfish and dedicated performers of all the firefighters in honor of paste and to pay tribute to these unsung heroes when proudly wear their red hats of courage. And I express to whoever sees it, this was Cicero's intention. And this is a this is a, a small momentum of his his readiness to work and help any way he could. Welcome back everyone. We hope that you enjoyed hearing the memories and the stories shared by family and friends over the past few minutes. A special thanks to everyone who participated in this year's documentary. It really made it a special event for this year's Black History Month celebration. Thanks again and Cicero, congratulations. Where he be? He go hit. He go hit that gas pedal, and we go. And we and he go take us for a ride.